How's it going folks? It is Matt back with another Digibyte video. This video is also brought to you by ChangeAngel.io, the swap exchange for social good. ChangeAngel, uh, they are a crypto to crypto, wallet to wallet, non-custodial swap exchange. Uh, so you are in control of your private keys and in control of your assets the entire time. They are also looking at implementing five new projects into this swap exchange. Uh, they also have their own Telegram channel that anybody is free to join. I'll provide a link to that in the description if you uh, want to join it. Uh, and the Telegram channel, the majority of the projects listed, actually I believe all of them, uh, have developers or members of that project within the channel so it's interesting to see all of the different crypto communities uh, communicating with each other helping each other out um, and even if you uh, if you join the channel and you do some digging within that channel you might get a an idea of some of these five projects that they will be listing in the near future change angels also having a uh, free giveaway I announced in my video the other day that the Malta AI and Blockchain Summit uh, going on May 23rd and May 24th, it's coming up, and Change Angel is sponsoring that event and paying, basically paying the way for uh, Stephen P. Kendall to attend this summit and showcase Digibyte's capabilities, but they're also giving away two free passes to the Blockchain Summit. So to enter, you need to like this tweet, retweet it, comment, and uh, put your wallet QR code down on there. And the winners of the free pass will also receive 0.25 Ethereum if they sign up on changeangel.io using DigiID. So I'll provide a link to this tweet in the description so you can participate in your chance to win a free pass to the Malta AI and Blockchain Summit, as well as 0.25 Ethereum if you sign up and create an account on changeangel.io. And since they use DigiID, there is no need for a password. So before we get into the news that I had, I tweeted it out yesterday that I had some exciting news to uh, talk about today. Uh, I found this tweet interesting. Uh, Brian Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase, is saying heads up. He's getting ready to host his second YouTube live AMA on Thursday at noon. Uh, would you... Or he, he's asking, what would you like to see in the Coinbase app? What type of crypto features or product updates are you interested in? Ideas can be for the Coinbase wallet or Coinbase Pro. So uh, I think overwhelmingly the Digibyte community is already responding. As you can see, I just responded uh, a fiat pairing for Digibyte would be nice. That's something I would like to see. So if you too would like to see Digibyte listed on Coinbase, I'll provide a link to this tweet in the description and you uh, feel free to let Brian know what you would like to see on Coinbase. He asked the question. It's up to you to provide that answer. So what was that news that I had? Digi Assets is live on the main net. Now, some of you if you've seen the clues over the past couple weeks, you may already know this. You may be like, what the heck? It's been live. But admittedly, embarrassingly, I didn't realize DigiAssets was live on the main net yet. I knew it was live on the test net. And I guess uh, the first clue would have been uh, when Jared Tate created the Digi Torch and the Digi Flame during the uh, Global Summit. But after, that, after those two assets were created, I didn't really hear a whole lot about Digi Assets, so I was thinking, okay, maybe uh, Jared had some exclusive access to create these two assets for the summit. Uh, but then the second clue came out three days ago, where Jared tweeted this out, and he said, here is a technical guide to Digi Assets. Anyone can get started with Digi Assets on the Digibyte blockchain, testnet, or mainnet today. And when I read that, I was like, what? Digi Assets is live on the mainnet? So, uh, over the past couple days, uh, in between, I've been busy with work and various other things as well. I've been asking questions, uh, is it on the main net, is it not, uh, can anybody make an asset or not, uh, but that is the case. Digi Assets is officially live on the main net. Anybody is free to create an asset using uh, this link that he provided here, kind of details the specifications. Uh, I know Josiah Spackman also has a how-to step-by-step guide to create an asset. Uh, his was created when the test net was live, uh, but it still pertains to the main net. Now, that being said, before you whip out your mobile phone and you be like, uh, what the heck, how do I create an asset? Uh, that is coming up soon. So uh, you can create a digi asset on the main net. Uh, there are some, it's not as user friendly as we would like it to be, but you know, uh, creating an asset on Ethereum is not user friendly at this moment either. You still need some programming knowledge to do so. But the mobile application is coming very soon. That'll make it 
uh, you know, user friendly and more appealing to the eye, such as this example that was tweeted out a couple months ago of uh, what the it was. This was a sneak peek that Jared tweeted out uh, a month or so ago of what the user interface of Digi Assets will look like. So uh, this is another one that I've seen floating around there as well. But point being, Digi Assets is now live on the main net and uh, they are working on the user interface for the mobile application integration that is coming in the near future uh, and when that is created it will be point and click it'll be easy you type in the asset name uh, you type in how many you want your total supply to be click on next step and basically upload the image of what you want your asset logo to look like it's going to be super user friendly and you'll be able to create an asset on the digibyte blockchain within a couple minutes with absolutely zero programming knowledge and since they are working on the mobile application version of it uh, Jared tweeted out calling all developers if you want to contribute to the digibyte blockchain development we would love JavaScript and mobile developer experience to help us get digi assets streamlined into the digibyte mobile wallets for a flawless user experience he also provided uh, the channel for the developers so if you are a developer if you have some sort of skill set and you feel like you can contribute to the project I'll provide a link to this tweet so you can join the developer channel uh, kind of see what's going on get in communication and ultimately see how you could help uh, get this mobile application up and running so that we can bring digi assets to the world in a very user-friendly way so I clicked on when Jared tweeted out uh, the asset digi asset protocol specifications I've clicked on that here and for those of you unaware of what digi assets is capable of I'll, I'll just briefly read through this uh, paragraph section here digi assets is a secure scalable secondary layer on top of the global digibyte blockchain that allows for the decentralized issuance of assets tokens smart contracts digital identity and much more digi assets can be used to securely and cryptographically represent anything we find in the physical world around us from tangible assets such as real estate airplanes boats or cars through to scarce digital pieces of art and music. Uh, signed documents such as wills, deeds, purchase orders, medical bills, and advertisement data and info can be protected as Digi Assets. Digi Assets is an ecosystem and platform already has uh, interested parties such as Block30 Labs either planning on or currently building platforms in real estate, finance, remittance, identity, point of sale, racing, trade, healthcare, supply chain, governance or government, and more. So Digi Assets leverages unique aspects of a truly decentralized blockchain only found within a permissionless blockchain like Digibyte that has never been publicly discussed in most blockchain circles. This allows Digi Assets to be more secure, scalable, and decentralized than any other platform yet seen in the market. So that is a brief summary of what Digi Assets is. Again, it is live on the main net officially and the user-friendly application to allow people like you and me with uh, zero skill set and programming, we will be able to issue our own assets coming up in the near future. That being said, uh, even though it is not user-friendly yet, I've been reading through uh, Josiah's step-by-step -step guide on how to issue an asset, and I think uh, over the weekend, if I have time, I'm actually going to create my own asset for my YouTube channel. I think I'm going to name it something simple, cryptocurrency token, the CCT. Uh, you know, I do not have any intentions of selling them or making money off of them. I'm going to actually probably airdrop them on people who comment on my videos and then uh, maybe use them as voting so my viewers could spend the assets to vote on a particular video I want they want me to create uh, maybe a how-to video or anything like that or if they want me to review a certain project that I haven't really discussed uh, all sorts of things and maybe even it could be like a reward system where if someone accumulates enough of that CCT if they want to cash in maybe I could give them a free t-shirt or something like that haven't really worked out how I want to use that asset yet uh, there's definitely multiple ways it could be used but again I'm definitely going to be creating the CCT coming up in the near future so back to what uh, they were saying as projects are already building on digi assets uh, I kinda had an idea when they were talking about medical bills um, or or the fact that the government could use them my thought process could be like you know government assistance uh, people get 
credit cards right now that are preloaded with money so they can buy food and things like that. That would be a perfect use case for digi assets. And same thing for like Medicaid. Uh, government is paying for their medical bills and everything. They could issue a medical digi asset and uh, have, let the customer spend that digi asset directly at the doctor so uh, the doctor gets payment immediately. Healthcare is still free for those that qualify. Uh, I don't know, I'm just throwing ideas out there. But uh, projects that are already building on Digibytes, Block 30 Labs, I found this tweet interesting. Uh, they're Block 3, which if you buy the Block 3, it gives you Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Digibyte all within one basket. You hold all three assets by owning the Block 3, and the Block 3 is up 123% year to date. So it's definitely great for uh, people that bought the block three early on and have been holding it uh, this whole time uh, i'm still looking into purchasing the block three i know coinbook is offering that and i actually got my father-in-law uh, he just set up his account on coinbook two days ago he, i think he's still waiting on his bank to deposit the funds so he can be fully verified and uh, make his first purchase on coinbook but it's it's small steps like that you know getting people aware of what cryptocurrency can offer uh, he actually now that I've been talking with him about it he shared an article with me today uh, out of Forbes where uh, China's looking into purchasing Bitcoin and, and to kind of navigate around the tariffs of uh, the United States uh, I think that's the direction the whole world is heading in my opinion so uh, other news on block 30 labs and how they can benefit digibyte as a whole uh, Aside from the block three and the block five, you know, every time someone purchases the block three or the block five or any of the, any of the other indexes that they offer that have Digibyte in it, that's purchasing Digibyte, which is, you know, taking it out of the supply. And uh, those people are now holding Digibyte, which adds to the value. Uh, block 30 Labs is also issuing their own Digi asset called Blocks. Uh, which they will have their own marketplace, which will allow people to uh, buy and sell assets, you know, similar to like a, I guess, Facebook marketplace, but with cryptocurrency instead, much better, in my opinion, and global, not just um, in your specific little city or locale. Uh, but anyway, when people buy and sell goods on Block 30 Pay and they spend the Block's currency, since that's a digi asset, it adds value to the Digibyte holders because it, those transactions are going across the Digibyte blockchain, paying the Digibyte network fees, and ultimately adding to the demand for Digibyte to pay those fees. So as more companies like Block30 Labs start to pop up, or as um, more users come into Block30 Labs, that just will add value to Digibyte. So that will wrap up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you weren't disappointed. You know, I didn't do like a Justin Sun type thing where I claimed to have a partnership and turns out we didn't or I didn't promise to give away a Tesla and take six months to do so. Uh, you know, I I was unaware that Digibyte was on the main net at this time so I felt like the majority of my audience probably, probably was unaware as well so I just wanted to share with you uh, that progress is being made. It's, it's always reassuring to know that uh, the projects that we've been waiting on for so long are making progress. It's officially on the main net and now all we need to do is wait for the user friendly interface to be connected with the mobile application and then uh, everyone and their mother can start creating digi assets with just a couple clicks of a button. So that wraps up today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to get notifications. Like it, share it, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later.